Hey guys, welcome to workout number 29. We have a long one for you today. 35 minute chipper. Chipper means that you are chipping away at a variety of exercises and or a bunch of repetitions. Today, we don't have m many movements, but we do have a lot of repetitions for each movement. The goal is to chip, chip away little by little. This is not a race, this is not a sprint, this is a long workout, long haul. After the chipper is complete, you'll proceed with new exercises onto an AMRAP with the remaining time. No matter what, this is a 35 minute workout or you can modify accordingly. The movements for the chipper include 200 lateral hops. Every lateral hop will count as one repetition. You can hop over a line or you can choose to hop over a piece of equipment. Your goal is 200 of those, each hop is one. After your 200 lateral hops, which you must complete, then you'll go into 150 sit-ups. Your sit-up, whether you have an ab mat or whether you have a towel, is up to you. No matter what, you want that lower back to be engaged on something when you move to the back part of that motion movement. After your two, 150 sit-ups, we'll move on to 100 eye-level swings. Jamie will demonstrate with a kettlebell and then a torpedo. You can also use a dumbbell or a ball. The goal here is to use something. Use something. Whether it's just a water bottle or a book bag, swing something 100 times to eye level. And Jamie can do that with one, two hands like that or she could hold the heads of the dumbbell and swing it like that as well, depending on how heavy and how comfortable you are with that. After that, we'll move on to 75 squat thrusts to deadlifts. They'll demonstrate what that looks like. Kevin will demonstrate with a barbell. Jamie will demonstrate with dumbbells. We're doing a squat thrust and then deadlifting it up once we get into that squat thrust position and then standing up. You wanna make sure that your butt is nice and low, back is nice and flat, and Kevin is demonstrating with the barbell, you would do your squat thrust on the ground with your hands on the ground and then address your barbell and then deadlift it up. Really depending on what equipment you have will determine how this flows. If you don't have any equipment, then you were just gonna do a squat thrust to a deadlift without any equipment. Once you're done with that 200, 150, 175, that part of your workout is complete, record your score, and then you move on to the AMRAP, which is two hand release push-ups. Kevin will demonstrate the modified version Elbows are nice and tight to our bodies. And then after your two hand release push-ups, you'll do 20 mountain climbers. We wanna make sure that those shoulders are stacked over those wrists, knees are driving in. We'll do 20 of those. Each time a knee comes in, we'll count as one repetition. This is one for one. Each round, you'll increase by two hand release push-ups and you'll increase by 20 mountain climbers. The farther you get into this workout, the the more reps you're gonna be doing each each round. And at the very end, you'll keep a tally of how many hand release push-ups and mountain climbers you, you've done. To modify, choose repetitions that allow you to keep moving. If increasing by 20 mountain climbers is too much, then you can reduce that. If, re if two hand release push-ups isn't enough, you can add more every round. It's really customized to your experience. We wanna make sure that you are constantly increasing those reps every single round. So do so in a way that is successful for you. This is a 35 minute workout. You'll have two scores, your score for your chipper and then your AMRAP score. Have fun. We are ready in 10 seconds. Five.
as you can see, our athletes had finished their chipper. They're moving on to their two hand release push-ups, 20 mountain climbers, one for one, as many rounds as possible with the remaining time. So they'll be doing this for the next 12 minutes. Every round they'll increase by two hand release push-ups and 20 mountain climbers. We're gonna let you finish the rest of this workout, have fun, and we'll see you back for tomorrow's workout.